Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about John Dies at the End by David Wong. Now first uh, I'd like to talk about the cover. Now I know I normally don't talk about the covers because, well, I guess, well, the argument would be, you know, hey, you know, don't judge a book by its cover, but then it's countered by the usual, uh, yeah, but the cover of a book is the first part you see and you know and if you want to have to get people to pick up your book then of course then yeah and of course you have to have a cool looking cover and so forth but then again my argument is it's because um, the reason why I don't talk about co book covers that much or at all unless there is you know either sometimes you could have books that uh, have different covers depending on um, on uh, what type of format whether it's soft cover or hard cover or where it's released or even um, or even just like t different times like I think I must have seen like uh, two I think three four covers for uh, Starship Troopers alone and um, yeah any any anyway um, but Today I'm going to talk about, uh, so yeah, I'm just going to really only talk about the covers to books if there's stuff for me to actually talk about. In this case, it's, I thought it was a really cool, you have the, you know, this, you know, the title engraved on this guy's hand and he's, he's trying to look, as he's trying to peek at the end of the book and, um, and you see here it is like, oh, it's all cut off and soldered and so forth like oh and then there's the then there's the little back flap that's always in the inside of the hard covers like this stop you should not have touched this book with your bare hands no no put it down it's too late they're watching you <clears throat> my name is David Wong my best friend is John. Those names are fake. You might want to change yours. You may not want to know about the things you'll read in these pages, about the sauce, about Korok, about the invasion and the future, but it's too late. You touched the book, you're in the game, you're under the eye. My, the only defense is knowledge. <clears throat> you need to read this book to the end. Even the part with the bratwurst. <laughs> Why? You just have to trust me. The important thing is this. The drug is called soy sauce, and it gives the user a window into another dimension. <clears throat> Why it's called soy sauce, I, I don't know. Um, especially since we later learned that it's actually like a pill. So I don't get that. John and I never had a chance to say no. But you still do. Unfortunately for us, if you make the right choice, we'll have a much harder time explaining how to fight off the otherworldly invasion currently threatening to enslave humanity. So if that's the case, wouldn't be saying no a bad thing? You know? <clears throat> I'm sorry to have involved you in this. I really am. But as you read about these terrible events and the very dark epoch the world is about to enter as a result of this it's crucial that you keep one thing in mind none of this is my fault uh, David Wong is the pseudonym of Jason Pargan online humorist National Lampoon contributor and editor-in-chief of some website called cracked.com anyway. Anyway, um, this whole thing is basically has lots of uh, dark humor, and um, and you know I found I I'm I'm a big fan, I'm a kind of a fan of uh, dark humor and stuff. In fact, I think it was um there's this um, little review thing here on the back where uh, by uh, Don Coscarelli, uh, quote. He says that uh, David Wong is like a mashup of Douglas Adams and Stephen King, and that really kind of sealed the whole, like, 
piqued my curiosity. Like I'm not, I'm not really much of a Stephen King fan, but Douglas Adams, that guy's cool. Anyway, um, you know, like you you heard the plot there. Um, you know, I'm a there's um, I have to say, kind of um, there's a certain moments where they would like explain or like talk about something. They just like, oh right, uh, I almost forgot to mention this here. You know, this happened like again, and again, like somebody did this because of whatever. Oh, by the way, you know this and this or whatever, like or something. You know, I kind of, but um, you, you'll see it anyway. Um. Also, it kind of felt like it took a, like a little while to get started, but then, as we later learned, this actually is supposed to be um, like the beginning of something called the uh, John and Dave series. This is supposed to be like a whole series, so that's okay. And in total, um, I personally, I give this a uh, rating of about four out of five, like. Yeah, I like some of the humor, but kind of, um, yeah, I can't really quite put my finger on it, but <clears throat> some parts where I just kind of zone out or what, but anyway, um, it's still a fairly, fairly good book that I, I kind of, I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, there were like, there weren't as much funny as I would have liked and, um, but yeah, F fun book, recommend it, go check it out or buy it or whatever, yeah. Anyway, um, till next time, see ya.